Yo guys and welcome back to another video. I'm not sure if you remember, but a couple of weeks ago we did a video at Minocte um, discussing the new trails, showing you the new trails and me following on my backside trying to walk down a steep part of a trail. But yeah, we're going to head back over there today to meet none other than Enver Trials Biker. He's another Scottish mountain bike YouTuber who showcases all of the mountain bike trails throughout Scotland. I think he'd be a pretty good YouTuber to get in the Highland Hill series as that's roughly like where he's based. Um, he's been doing a lot of like Monroe riding recently, which is what we're wanting to get onto for some more episodes of the Highland Hill series. So that could be an idea and pretty cool. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to meet him today. Um, I watch his videos quite a lot. If you don't watch his videos, you should. Link his channel down below, um, so you can go check that out. Be sure to give him a subscribe. But yeah, it should be a pretty good day. He's on the e-bike, so it's going to tow me up all the hill, so it should be pretty easy. Yeah, so... Without further ado, I'll see you over at Minocti. We've come to Minocti today and we're going to be hitting a trail just to warm up on. One I've done quite a few times before. Uh, Stout Hunter. Is it Stout or Stout Hunter? Yeah, uh, Stout. <laughs> Stout Hunter. Right, that's funny. You go first. I'll go first with first one, right? You're going first at some point though. Yeah. Right. Maybe on that new trail. Right guys, dropping in Stout Hunter with an Inver Trials biker. Ha! <laughs> He's rapid. Oh. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, he's on an e-bike. Yo. Pretty sick to be riding with him. Comes from a trials background when he was younger. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just getting a toe up with Neil up front on the e-bike. Way to cut into the new trail. Um, still hasn't got a name yet, but that's the main reason he came here today to try it out. So we'll give it a go. Here to meet Young Arch as well, but yeah. mainly for the trail. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we keen, Arch? Aye. Right guys, into the new trail. Last time when I dropped in, I wasn't clipped in because I wasn't sure how steep it was going to be. So this time I'll give it a go clipped in. But yeah, super steep. Yo! <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, he's off. He's so good with steeps. But yeah, this new trail, super steep up top, and then like good wee enduro wee gloomy sections at the bottom, eh? Oh, unclipped. Ugh. Yeah. You shot off on them steep bits. <laughs> I have to, I'm on a new bike. <laughs> oh, that was the best of lines there, bro. Yeah, he was... Whoo, he was telling me earlier on the e-bikes, because there's so much weight behind it. On the steeps, you can barely stop. We're gonna do this trail, it's called 50 Shades of Beige. Yeah, it's probably my favourite one here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do this one, and then I think we're gonna go to Oak Woods, just outside Elgin. My just, local. Yeah, Archie's local. Uh, I'm gonna go in front this time, and he's gonna go in front of Oak Woods. <laughs> so, right, let's go. Right guys, dropping in to ooh, 50 Shades of Beige. Hopefully we don't get another flat tire this time. Yo. Lovely top section up here. Yo. 
gets wee bit, wee bit steeper here. It's just near where the flat tire happened. Oh, keep meaning to do that. I'll we'll do it another time. Yo, oh, he's proper. He's gone. <laughs> well, so as I'm sure you guys know from previous videos, my local is Oakwood. So after we've done this trail, I can get in, get in the van, drive a couple of miles back towards Elgin, get on Oakwood. I'll show them about the local, Woo! as he was just saying up at the top. And I will go in front for their trails, because with a bit of luck, I'm faster than somebody who's never, never ridden them before. I think he's maybe ridden them once. But hopefully, I'm a bit faster than them on my local trails because I should know them best but only time will tell right guys bit of a change of plan we were over at Minochty there but we've decided to come over to Oakwood because I believe Neil's only been here is it once? once yeah. yeah he's only been here once so I thought he's desperate for me to lead him into a trail so I thought we'd come to Oaks and because I know them best, hopefully I should be faster. Um, but yeah, so climb up now and take them down. Pump track. Right guys, dropping into pump track with Invertrial's biker following me. Hopefully he doesn't catch up too quick. Can I feel the feel feel the pressure a wee bit? Having somebody behind you who's quite quick as well. Woo! <laughs> we hop out the bomb hole. and into the end of pump. Right guys, that's us done, the pump track. Um, so we're gonna go up and have a wee look at Road Gap. I don't think Neo's actually ever seen it before. I doubt I'll do it today, but if he sends it, I might. But I doubt he will, because he's on, on an e-bike as well. <laughs> so the extra weight will be pretty sketch. Might take him up to tabletop though, see what he thinks of it. And yeah, going for it. I think the weight of the e-bike will drag you down for a case like sizable in it. I just don't know how it would be if I faced it. Yeah. Uh, I've seen somebody do it before. Yeah. Normally they tend to case and go to that side. Like they'll like bounce and then go doing that way. Normally like crash onto that slanted bit. But they say See, what? See that drop there? Yeah. They say if you're clearing that, then you've got perfect speed to clear this. Yeah. If you don't brake and don't pedal. Maybe we'd give it a go, but I think I'll take my ibis here and try it. Yeah. Now. Plus I've got a holiday in a couple of weeks, so I don't want to fucking yeah, no. wreck myself. It's a really steep shoot up there if you want to do it for a bit of fun. Yeah. Well, no. Go 
got some new grips on the bike pink on the left, right in the blue to represent the brand colours, pretty cool got this sorted out at the Bike Bothian Forest and <laughs> a new back tyre as needed because the treads were pretty worn the front slightly worn but it's not nowhere near as bad as the back one wait till I show you Neil's, his is just as bad, they're like road tyres yeah you can see they're pretty worn down there like everyone keeps telling me how the tyres are bald but there's still normals inside, you have plenty of life left <laughs> Yeah, so I've came up to tabletop now. See what, see what we think. Steep, yeah. oh, it is pretty steep, steep but okay. the thing is, you get, the amount of speed you get going off there. Yeah. Don't even jump. Just go with a bit of speed. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll give that a go. No brakes from like the top, eh? Yeah. I normally do just a wee tap here, just like yeah. sort of wee scary kind of yeah. thing. Well, it's fair to say that Neil is a bit of a sender. <laughs> he's not doing road gap because he's on an e-bike. However, he, he was pretty tempted. <laughs> he done this, cleared it by miles like first go, didn't even take a run in. So, yeah. You ready? Okay. Drop in. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Right guys, way to drop in two, triple flyer, classic that we always do, and then in two, Neddy. Neil was a lot more skilled than me for the steep trails, and he can barely stop in them because of the e-bike, so hopefully it doesn't crash into me going down Neddy. <laughs> Into Neddy. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Whew. That was a good run. That was sick, like. Very good, eh? Yeah, pretty sad times when you've got to check Strava for your own trails and the trail's not even on Strava. Strava or trail forks? I meant trail forks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, this is Sofa King. Yeah, guys, as Neil was saying, Sofa King looks drop in. Yo. Again, he has got electric pedal power, so he'll shoot off. But whether he can hold that pace, oh, it's debatable. <laughs> oh, I think we'll do this, and then the e-bike power on Neil's bike is quite low, so we'll do this. Maybe take him down lockdown, he's never done it before. Um, I was here way before it was built. Yeah. Oh. oh, right, guys, that was. I don't usually swear, but I'll bleep this out. That was fucking sore. <laughs> Honestly, that was so sore. Side went right into a stump, ripped my jersey. So I think there's going to be a nice cut and a bruise there. And they go. But yeah, I'm going to call this the last run. Um, E-bike power's pretty low and might not make it for another run, so I mean, we've gotten some pretty good laps Right guys, if you can hear me over the cars, and that car especially, if you can hear me over the cars Hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to hit subscribe to me and Neil, Invertrials Biker. Link his channel up the top and down below. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah, it was mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right. Right, lad. Good to meet you. Yeah, you uh, as well. Catch you another time, eh? Yeah.
Right. See you later, love. Catch you later.